Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it is a rainy Sunday morning and I wanted to take you guys to explore one of my friend's homes. Her name is Laura. She owns a shop in the same town that my shop is in. Her shop is called Inflorescence. It's a apothecary mixed with art studio, open floor concept. She really hosts a number of um, music events, art events. It's just a really cool concept for a store. Um, so she asked me if I wanted to come see her home because it is one of a kind. She took a 1700 farmhouse, um, actually carriage house, and converted it into her living space. And I'm going to show you the color choices she chose with the art pieces she chose. It's just one of a kind. So come with me and we can explore. So this is Laura and Michael's amazing home. It's super quaint and the back entrance has this awesome secret garden vibe, which I absolutely love. Now originally, this was a really small structure that was considered the carriage house on the property. And there was a very little documented history about the built date since it was in the 1700s. Now carriage homes were outbuildings designed to house horse-drawn carriages and then at some point this structure went on to become a small horse or livestock barn and then it actually sat vacant for many years after. Sometime in the 1980s a veteran bought the property and he invested some time and money into making it a really unique living space. This is the basement, which of course I'm not going to explore, but check out the patina on this door. This door is an original door and it was painted on that side, but the patina on the inside of the door is amazing. Laura and Michael have only been in the home for a short time, but they did a tremendous amount of upgrades, like the kitchen, which is so fun. I absolutely love this kitchen. And check out the cute little crustacean while we take a look at the original beams. I love the color choice of this lavender bright purple color for the front door. And this little book nook type of area with the light and the open book is so cute. Heading upstairs, I absolutely love the color choice of this bright yellow. The upstairs in this house was by far my favorite. It was so bright and open, it just felt like a different home upstairs. I'm not going to totally invade their space, but this is their bedroom. And just check out the headboard there. I loved it. It was so pretty.
This room was super cute. Her pairing of decoration, the color in the room, just everything about it just gave a really nice vibe feeling. And I love the pairing in the bathroom, how they took what probably was an entryway table and used this very modern sink to make it their vanity. Heading back outside, I did want to go explore Michael's man cave barn, which he has an awesome hot rod in. This is Michael's 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner in this awesome orange color. And this was just such a cool hangout area. It had everything guys would like, including a big screen TV and some deer heads on the wall and all of his trophies for his car. Thank you to Laura and Michael for allowing me to share their unique home with my viewers. My absolute favorite part about exploring their home was just how much creativity went into it. And between the choices of colors and the combining of new and old items, it was just spot on. And since filming, this home actually went on the market and sold. So Laura and Michael are off to their next adventure, which is an 1890s house that they're going to put their creative touch on. And I'm sure I'll be welcome back to film. And thank you for watching my channel. It recently just went to a thousand subscribers. So my goal for the end of the year is to have 2000 subscribers. Please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't done so.